There we go. Yep. And Abok is going for Steve. Okay. As expected, like. I think that's better than we would say, right, for Zero Suit. So he's gonna go with Steve. And there we go. Game on the way. We are in. Loser's top 12, of course. The winner is top 8, and that would be really nice for both of these players to get into top 8. For, I think for Abog it would be a bit of disappointment to not get in. Charlie right now got exactly what he's seeded for, but he obviously wants to get a little bit further as well. Good combos coming in first, and will get uh, United. And I think he's letting a little bit too much mining going on as the fishing rod comes out. And yeah, Abog is. Uh, yeah, when you saw the tracks game, he was not allowed to mine that much. It might be in, like just a matchup thing that Charlie thinks that he can't just practice the approach. Like you maybe can with a Gendorf who's a bit heavier, a bit forgi more forgiving. But Charlie is getting a lot of percentages right now. Oh, gets a kick, and that's gonna be the kill. And first stock goes to Charlie, and that's with a very quick stock. Gold is available though for. Arbok, who keeps on mining, has enough for minecarts, of course, and will get dropped to minecart in the wrong way. And there are some really weird blocks going on here by Arbok. So he's blocking himself out. And Charlie is playing pretty good so far. Doesn't do any mistakes. And maybe the mining isn't as important for a Zero Suit, who's just so quick and so fast going for the aerial combo. Doing another 20% here for Arbok. Another hit comes through. He's working a lot with the there. And there's the anvil that's not killing at 60. But he's on 81% right now. And another anvil would probably kill. Arbok is struggling quite a bit. As in the arena something happens. I'm not sure what. And that's another good grab here. Diamonds are available though, and that Charlie doing so much percentage that could have been almost a kill. He needs to go on stage, and that's such a beautiful punish here from Charlie, who's going up 3 to 1 in stocks and who's playing so good right now. Of course, he beat like the Sim this game tournament, he beat a very good player, I believe. He lost to Zora Asakura. Uh, Asakura? I, I don't know how to pronounce the name. To Zora. And right now he's trying to take off Abba, but there's the fire coming in, and that's gonna be another kill for. Or th that's gonna be the first stock here for Arbok. He's gonna get it. Diamond is on the way, so that's a very strong attack here for Steve. And. Azora uh, Asakura. <laughs> he's gonna go to station 4 right now, but. Zero Suit once more does a lot of percentages. And yeah, with the diamond being here, that's so good for the Steve. So much percentages that he can do. And he's so strong with it. So this stock means nothing, but there's another kick. There's a kick clip, and that's gonna be this stock, yes. And Charlie wins game one here for Gecko. What a first game. And Charlie says he's not gonna make it easy for Arbok. I wonder if he's switching to the Ridley once more. And yeah, we will see. They're gonna ban stages again. Let's see what we're going for. What are we heading to? Oh, he's staying on Steve. Okay. He is staying on Steve. As far as I thought, like you pick for though, we go on small battlefield. We select Dojo. Okay. Oh no, he's going to be there. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm just not listening, I guess. Oh, he selected a different Ridley. Not the gold one this time, but the purple green one. Skin changes. Charlie, of course, with red zero suit Samus is what he always plays. And I'm really interested how this one goes. Charlie once more racks up a lot of good percentages here on the Ridley. And Fireball is coming out, but uh, there's a range of Ridley. And it's of course something you don't play often against. Um, and Arbok is very 
good in punishing here with Ripley. Fireball is coming out once more. And that first stock taken really fast. And we see why Arbok usually used to be a Ridley main and now just started playing Steve. So we will see how is this going further. Good percentages for Arbok, who's right now just dominating Charlie in this game. Fireball is coming out, but not getting here. That's a punish for Charlie. Pretty easy. He's gonna get for another kick flip and flip kick, flip kick. I don't know how the, it's pronounced, but yeah. And getting the stock back and going one for one. But this game, very much more even. I would even say it's Arbok favorite here. He has a 112 percent. He gets a stock with that. That's with the forward tilt, I believe. And that's. Uh, Stock-wise, pretty nice for him. Jumping is in disadvantage now, and that's of course where Zero Suit also shines and where Ridley does not deal that well with a nice small juggle here by Charlie. But he needs to adjust. There's a fireball coming in. Last fireball connects, and now it's in neutral again here. Fireball shield, good hits here from Charlie. Kick back here with the back air. Well done, and that's another connecting. And Abok connects that one. But of course, every percentage that Abok does is really good for him because he has the stock lead. And uh, right here, he Charlie just misses the punish, manages to not do it. Probably thought something else was gonna come in here from Abok. Yeah, this this looks like Abok might be able to. Close out, but you never know. The smash, everything can happen, and at least the stock is something that Charlie gets. Oh, not quiet as the DI is really good here from Abog. Abog Goat, <laughs> as we call him. And wow, that kills. All right, and that's really good. And I think they just agreed to just run it back right now. 1 1. Uh, Abog managed to do it here. Managed to equalize the series, and yeah, we're just running back. Book players know that I think between them the state selection doesn't matter that much, and they're just fine with the state right now. And now we will get, yeah, we just run it back. We will just run it back. But Charlie starts to set a way better over this uh, this game. And dodges the fireballs too quick. Hit and the taser coming out. That's the first time he does that. And of course, working a lot with the another time with the taser. Thinks to himself, yeah, yeah, you have range with play, but I too have range. I just don't like to use it as much. There's another side B coming in. And oh my god, that hit, and it does not kill though. This suit, of course, also likes the platform, but Ridley seems to like them as well with his reach of the wings and of the tip of the tail. But again, very even serious. Oh my god, he hit that. Oh my lord, that's filthy. That's a spike, and that's such a good play here by Charlie. But of course, Arbok wants to enter this right away. We've seen players just run it back if you don't die. Like every percentage is so good for you and the fireballs are really well placed here by Arbok. Who does not get the kill yet, but he's so close to it. And there he is, he gets it. What a well placed, uh, well timed down air by Arbok. Ah, but Charlie now in neutral. Once running back the down tilt hits and we're going further. Arbok, we're back in neutral and bo this this game is the even one. Like first game Charlie dominated, second game Arbok dominated. This game is really even so far. Like both players are in almost the same percentages, six percent separating them. We also see like really longer games than the last game, and that will not do it yet. Oh my god! But Charlie is so good at hitting these, and this one still doesn't do it. So we see that's why. Uh, like Ridley is not that easy to kill. And that's a third animation and it's still not killing. Uh, really good DI here, of course, then from Arbok. And Charlie gets a kill with this one. 160% uh, 
and finally the Ridley dies. That's what he's thinking. But once again, it's not uncomebackable here for Arbok in the second game. Charlie, again, jiggling out good shield. Taser, not hitting. And you see that, Arbok trying to hit it, but Charlie just immediately jumps in, jumps out before he's in range and tries to get something more valuable out of Arbok to then get the punish in. But Arbok is not only not hard committing yet, but this is so good from Charlie and he's gonna take game two with another two stock against the Ridley. And that's 2-1 for Charlie right now, who's in the lead against Arbok. Uh, which would be a small upset, I would say, and Charlie would be very happy. They seem to just run it back again. Uh, same characters as well. I think they just did a run back thing. And yeah, they are going to run it back. So Arbok is not confident in the Steve after losing the first game to Trax and the first game to Charlie. But um, more confident in his birthday, which took game two. So this one is still all in the open. Can Arbok reverse this or will Charlie prevail and get into top 8 which would be so great for him which was his like, main goal this tournament was to get top 8 like his advanced goal of course the, like he said he's fine if he's placing top 12 uh, depending on bracket he probably would also been fine losing around earlier but top 8 would be the dream for him right now and then you never know what's happening another try here from Arbok because again, we see a very even early fighting, uh, both on around 70, 80%, 80% right now, 80 for Arbok, 85 for the for Charlie for the zero suit. But that's just gonna do it. You just can't get killed by this. It's it killed so early, especially on such a light character as zero suit. But this might also be another kill. Yes, it does. And both are completely even here. It's it, on Central Smash series right now. Yeah. Um, Sponsored by Sweet Sport, by the Federation of Luxembourgish Esports, and by uh, Wii Spawn. And that smash is, of course, also there. Another fireball is coming out right now for Arbok, who's working a lot with them because it's like so non committal, right? If the opponent is far away from you, you can just throw out the fireballs, and uh, yeah, you're locked in place, but like the enemy has to react to the fireballs, and you can't really just easily approach. Uh, a Ridley from above because he has so many good tools to hit you from down like we see right there that's a forward uh, an up smash I believe and this is such a close game once more this time Charlie does not got the lead that he got in the last game but you, see, you also know Zero Suit can just kill so fast like even someone like Ridley is not safe from getting just killed on 40% and Charlie takes the lead here, takes the stock lead, takes some valuable percent and he now looks to poke down, looks to close out the set, looks to win through one for Gecko and for himself of course as well, that's another good combo, 40% here and 50% and that was so dangerous here for Arbok and Charlie does such a good job against this Ridley, I, th I think they played some matches on uh, like last week. And maybe that's helping him with matchup familiarity. 80% Arbok on last stock, 120% for Charlie. And I, it feels like Arbok gets a little bit frustrated right now. He really wants to get the stock, but Charlie does not give him an opening. It's very calm and connected. And that's a spike and that's a free one for Charlie. He's gonna take it over Arbok. Well played. And yeah, Charlie goes into the top eight. And that's... That's something we need to show Kari. True, true. true. <laughs> he beats Avok with a 3 to 1 score, and that's, I must say, really well played here by him. What a serious. That was more dominating than I thought it would be.